Well, people are busy with Android Q, iOS 13, iPad OS. That's another company which has been pushing a lot of updates lately. Microsoft. Being the only Windows guy here at TechWiser, I have only you guys to share it with. And no, I'm not talking about the usual dark mode in the file explorer, GPU info in the task manager. Nah, pretty standard stuff. You might already be aware of that. We're talking about some new Windows update. The new Windows terminal, your phone companion, screen mirroring, and my favorite, reply to notifications. But before we begin, I would like to thank our sponsor for this video, Wondershare Recovery. So recently I formatted a hard drive as I was building a NAS on the Raspberry Pi. Big fail. I lost all the data on the hard drive. But thanks to Wondershare Recovery, we were able to recover most of the media files, except the FCB proprietary project files. Recoverit is available for both Windows and Mac. It also has a free variant which lets you recover only 100 MB of data, but you can always pay to remove the limit. Try it out. First link in the description, just below the subscribe button. Moving on. Earlier, when I have to send files from my phone to the laptop, I used Pushbullet or AirDroid if the file size was too big. But why download extra apps when you can do it natively? Your phone companion lets you do that. To get going, you need the app both on your phone and laptop. Obviously, you need to sign in with your Microsoft ID. Post that, your phone is linked to your PC. Now, you can get your images and messages right here on the laptop. So it makes it easy to quickly grab a photo from my phone and start editing in Photoshop on my laptop. But this, of course, is standard stuff. And the key highlight is notification sync. Like in my case, I use WhatsApp web to see the text without having to reach out for my phone. With your phone companion, the job gets easy. You just get the text at the bottom, which stays for a while in the action center. And when you dismiss it, it's cleared from your Android phone as well. And not just that, you can also reply to notifications. We at TechWiser got lucky with the early build and it works. There are some flaws, hiccups, but it works. Remember, these are extremely early build and they have connection and reliability issues. If your phone companion app didn't make your head turn, well, this will. Here's a preview of the revamped Windows terminal. It encompasses both old CMD and PowerShell, but most importantly, it lets you run Linux commands within the same window. The later builds are gonna include a freaking Linux kernel in Windows. Like, wow, you could run Linux software right here on Windows. Imagine this. Running a Linux-based file manager Nautilus to edit your EXT files. Or genome-based web browser Epiphany. Unfortunately, it's not that cool as of now because here Ubuntu works in a sandbox environment and you cannot edit your files on the hard drive. Now, these might hold that 1% of Ubuntu users who are dubious about choosing Windows or Ubuntu. As a Windows user, I have Ubuntu on dual boot and as an enthusiast, it's really fun to use the command line shell script, but the lack of good software hampers my productivity. Now this one's interesting and quite surprising. Firstly, Windows removed Cortana from the search bar. Well, thank you. I clearly didn't notice that. Secondly, there is Alexa on the Microsoft Store. Whoa, I didn't see that coming. And have a look at this. Hey Alexa, what's the weather in India? In Mumbai, Maharashtra, it's 26 degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. Hey Alexa, why are you not as smart as Google Assistant or Siri? Okay, shutting down Windows. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, it's not there yet. According to The Verge, the September build of Windows lets you use third-party assistant on the Windows lock screen. Now, these third-party assistants could be Google Assistant, Alexa, and God forbid, not Bixby. It's late, but 
thankfully it did arrive. So now you can press Windows key plus full stop to activate the emoji tray on any app. So Mrinal, my emails from now on will have emojis. Just kidding. Comes handy when you have to use Slack or tweet from the laptop. You might already be aware of this, but just in case, press Windows key plus V to activate the native clipboard manager. The best thing about it is that it remembers the formatting of the text portion you copied and even hyperlinks. The same works for screenshots as well. Screen mirroring. Now you might already be using Allcast or Wiser to mirror your Android phone to the PC, but they are either filled with ads or you need a USB cable and the latency. Now your phone companion lets you mirror your screen as well, but this screen mirroring works through Bluetooth instead of Wi-Fi, so it has a distance limit. So a cool way would be to show off your presentations on your mobile phone and in future it's also going to support keyboard and mouse inputs. And as of now, it's supported only on few Samsung devices and the OnePlus devices. However, eventually it's going to roll out to every Android device operating Android Nougat and above. Till then, you can use the screen copy app. Here is a link to that video. Lately, Edge Chromium made a lot of buzz and I guess the 4% of people who use Edge over Chrome would be damn excited. <laughs> Just kidding, it's quite legit and here's the deal. You can use Chrome extensions, so that makes switching from Chrome to Edge Chromium a bit easy. I can use LastPass, Grammarly, my favorite, Toby, XDM. Well, these Chrome extensions were the reason I never took a Firefox. One of the most important reason, privacy. Now, instead of providing all your data to one single giant company, it's better to provide them in chunks to multiple companies. Because Microsoft ain't gonna share your data with Google or vice versa. P.S. The new start menu looks horrible. Please leave that alone. And let me know what things you would like Microsoft to do. Like what's the most annoying thing that you want to be fixed because I have a huge list. And on that note, this is Pratik signing off. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Thank you.